I forgot they uh they give you a time limit, guys. So we're gonna get back um to what we were discussing, which was how we don't worship Trump. We do have policies that we don't agree with that he um you know advocates for, such as his stance on abortion. Since that's the over, over, you know, the overarching topic of today, we don't ad- agree with Trump's stance on abortion because uh, there was a clip where he was, you know, asked how he would feel about I think a fifteen week ban, and he said like he wasn't for that. He said it was like too too soon, and I understand from like a political perspective, he's trying to play like the most neutral, you know, you know, game, pick the most neutral side, but ultimately when it comes down to the unborn, I think that there's like a stance you should take, and it should be that abortion is murder. Like it shouldn't be a really a debate about it. Yeah, but if he, I think if he came out and said that, he probably wouldn't have got elected. Of course, and 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 I know that, but it's like, yeah, it's what matters shame. more? What we think? That point is. You gotta pick a side. You got an ultimatum. I'm trying to get her back on here. Okay, okay, there she go. Hey, all right back. we're hey. back <laughs> i forgot i forgot all about the time limit i ain't never uh used up the whole time limit we having a real just <laughs> <You're saying. laughs> but yeah uh, um so we was talking about the last thing we were saying before we got cut off was we were talking about um our tra- our stance on trump because mm-hmm. a lot of people black people specifically when they hear us say that you know we support trump they are I made me think that we're like saying we agree with everything he said. Like my mom, for example, she was so disturbed by the fact that we even had the MAGA hat. And I'm like, why are you, why are you disturbed? Like you wouldn't care about us having an Obama paraphernalia. You wouldn't probably wouldn't even no care about us having no Joe Biden Kamala paraphernalia. So why is Trump like so triggering? And it's like, well, you need to be thinking about Jesus, not Trump. I'm like, oh, Jesus is above everything. But on, somebody. when it comes to the election. Right. <laughs> I, I'm voting for Trump this year, and I also yeah. have other candidates that I do like, like uh, Vivek. Vivek Ramos told me that's my guy. That's my I don't guy. know about him though. He's just too good to be true. I got trust. Right, right. We got, we got our eyes on. We got our eyes on because it's like him. everything he's doing is so on par. It's like what's, yeah, I'm gonna say everything you say. I like it. That's a problem. It's a problem for me. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah I just can't. For sure. I Man, can't. somebody um somebody had a problem with the fact that he um. That he took um, scholarship money from the Soros Foundation, and they brought that up to say that he was a plant. And I, I looked into it, and I'm like, yeah. So he he, he took the, the scholarship to go to like Harvard or something or Yale, one of the two. And it was a foundation for immigrants. Like Vivek is an immigrant, so you're saying that he's a plant because he took a scholarship from a foundation that was geared towards somebody like him. You can- like, I, I mean, expect I can't someone to have look. a perfect history. Yeah. Yeah, I, I they, they, they the are so high for everybody but the people who are currently in office, like Joe Biden. Like, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Good point. His son Good point is, it's, it's literally like, it's so much treason going on with them. It's like, well, the red flag should be, it should have been going on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Have y'all been seeing Candace Owens um, campaigning with, with Vivek? That, I don't know. Yeah, I've I seen the clip about that. I'm, I hey, I'm, I'm like, I don't know. I really, like I said, we just got our eyes peeled when it comes to Vivek trying to see his stance. But as far as like how I would pick my, you know, president, I would try to get somebody as close to um, having Christian values as possible. That's really the bottom and line. Even if they're not a Christian. Not, nobody's 100% Christian, okay? Right. We're even all sinners. We're just, all people. Just what we are comfortable with. That's, that's, it is what it is. Right. And we have the right to have our standards and, and establish them. Like, yeah. But the fact yeah. is, People are just don't like Trump just based on what they've been told. That's the truth. It has yeah. nothing to do with him as a person. Y'all don't really yeah. care about that. Because yeah, w- yeah. when we say, well, we don't even agree with Trump on everything. We actually don't like his stance on abortion. Then yeah. it's not all of a sudden y'all don't even like, wait, wait a minute. What about abortion? We, we're for abortion. Yeah. I, I thought you were so Christian though. Like, yeah. what's up with people? Yeah, yeah. The pro-choice Christians to me are the most mind-blowing group of people. Like, I can't oh, even get them. Because I'm just like, how? Zero sense. How? How? How, how, how. But yeah, Trump stands in abortion. I understand he's trying to be moderate, but for me, yeah. I feel like you got to stand for something. You know what I'm saying? At some point, you do have to put a limit. I know he said 15 weeks, but 15 weeks is almost, what is that, like five months? Like, that's, 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 is that, four that's four months. Yeah, it's four like months, four and a half months. months. Yeah. That's but pretty far like, along. That's, that's far, pretty far, that's far along. along. Yeah. Like, that's a bit too far. Like, you know, I, I get what he's trying to do, and you can never have a perfect candidate. That's just unrealistic. But um, the way that they're trying to bring him down and the way they're just – I just feel like he's just the best option right now. I'm yeah, not I mean, Vivek. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not. 
Yeah. And I didn't have yeah. a jumpsuit. Trump, 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 Trump for now. Trump, 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 for now. Period. Yeah. Period. Yeah, Later on down the line, if Vivid doesn't do anything crazy, if I don't see any, you know, weird, like, you know, demonic things going on with him, then who you knows? Yeah, yeah. Who knows? But, but Dan currently, say, I, I, as somebody who, I was in high school in 2016 when he was elected mm -hmm. the first time, and mm -hmm. I was so in a, such a liberal school, they were literally indoctrinating me to hate Trump. I went through my PowerPoint uh, from my high school email, and I'm seeing a PowerPoint I did back in high school where I had Trump, and I'm saying Trump is a racist. I don't even remember what the assignment was, but the fact that that was even a discussion that was being held in class is just so alarming to me. And I honestly feel like I was robbed of a proper high school experience <laughs> knowing that I spent four years being liberally indoctrinated. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I remember when he got elected, they said teachers were at school crying. Crying. Instead of this teaching curriculum, so yeah, they're, they're, so they're crying about, about Trump. That. Telling I'm all, because like, I went to an almost all black school, mm -hmm. they're telling the black kids that they need to be concerned about Trump. Oh, because I had a lot of white teachers. Oh, I'm so sorry that you guys have to go through this, and I just feel so bad that this is the country that you guys have to grow up in and doing all this. I'm just like, stop, like, up. like <laughs> we didn't come here for this, huh? Okay. So this, this, my uncle. Um, my uncle's a Christian, but he's also like a, a a really bad alcoholic. But he knows the Bible in and out, in and out. So when we when we got up with him at a like a, a little family get together, he uh he brought up the fact that we like Trump, and he was oh, you know we, I, I rock with Trump, you know that's that's good. He quoted this verse with us, and it was so it was so powerful because I remember reading it, but it didn't hit until he said something. So this First Corinthians fifteen fifty four. 52. Oh, yeah, 52. 15, 50, 52. It said, in a moment, in the twinkle of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised, incorruptible, and we shall be changed. And when he quoted that, it was like, wow. And the Bible is spiritual. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's speaking spiritually, so it's not going to mean that we're going to literally raise from the dead. People mm -hmm. going to start walking mm -hmm. around. It's going to be mm -hmm. there. It's going to be a change in my oh, heart. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at that point, we'll be sure. incorruptible. Yeah. We will be unified in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. at that point, a lot of a lot of Trump supporters are real Christians, and that's why it's a war on conservatism because it's a war on Christianity. They just not, not yet. Yeah, but they basically are honestly. So I wouldn't even mind a woman president, just not Hillary Clinton. No, just not, no, no we don't need a woman president. No, no. Hillary Clinton is a no. demon. Somebody said, I don't agree that he thinks the election was rigged. The election was rigged, darling. The yeah. election was so they, obviously rigged. Like, <laughs> they're currently trying to do it again. They're trying yeah, to bring they, back Corbett. They have 4K video of like, them rigging the election. Like, the election was rigged. Yeah. Like, let's just stop. The cat. Like, Clearly <laughs> if you didn't see that video, you need to look it up. Look up them stuff like, in the balance. It's 4K motion picture. <laughs> Like they changed the rules. They had all of these mail-in votes. Like it was, there was so much illegal things that went on with the 2020 election. We should have known it was a problem when it took like six days for us to get the results. When has that ever happened in American history? Like that's not normal. We get the results that election night. Like it was not a fair election. It was the election was rigged. I know a lot of people don't want to say that, but that it was rigged. It is what it is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, you can't grasp that, then you deny it. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, it's just, it's just truth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's literally just truth. Like, it's not nothing politically. It's not. It, it's not that you like the guy or not. It's like, look at it. Just look yeah. at it. It's clearly rigged. Mm -hmm. Our problem. Yeah. What about the military violence? It's the fact that they had them in, in mass. They yeah, had, they had this fake ass disease. Ballots. Talking about COVID, had niggas wearing masks in the most retarded. Like. No, no, I said in mass. Like no, 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 no. I understand, but what you were saying, military is just like a certain subset of yeah. people. But they had yeah. in mass voting because of the disease that they came up with <laughs> to justify the mail in ballots, and that you know caused a lot of issues. It was an overwhelming yeah. thing. Yeah, everybody was paranoid, and it was right. a whole bunch of crap. What, what happened to Omicron? The 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 third right. strain. Oh, monkeypox. Right. What happened to all of that? <laughs> they what happened? Talked about it in a Times article about how there was a cabal of coordinated, like, different, like, groups of people to push the election in one direction. 
this was they did it on purpose and they bragged about it in the, like an article i wish i could pull it up but they everyone knows that that election was not fair the election was not it was not a, a regular election it was rigged in a certain direction and you know it, at, it is what it is at that point that's when we should have Overthrew the government. Yeah. I think that right there. And that's why they had that's January 6th. Why they should have made that right there. That's this not a democracy no more. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. And you heard about what they're doing to those January six. Um, the people that was at the Capitol that day. Oh, oh yeah, we, we know a couple of. Them. We, yeah, we, we know. Got, we got to meet a couple of the people at January six, and them people. It, they made them people so radioactive that nobody wanted to be around them. So I don't know if you knew. I know that they prosecuted them and they trying to throw the book at them. But did you know that after January 6th, how they got them people, like how they got them in custody? So they had like essentially like the FBI raid their house at four in the morning, guns pointed at them, snatched them out their house, and then they're just they're just political prisoners at this point. So then once if you get released now they they tracking your call logs anybody you called or text now they're down they're deep digging deep into the people that you're in contact with you're you're a flight risk because you're a terrorist so you say you go to the airport now they stop you from flying and there is there basically just making you radioactive nobody wants to be around you because you went there at an insurrection yeah and this is america yep <laughs> like, like this is going on in america right now and yeah we don't we, nobody has energy anymore. for the niggas that was Bride and looting, yeah. blowing shit up for weeks on end. You said can't use COVID as an excuse this time. They already are. They trying to though. I seen a thing for New York talking about mask up. Like they're literally yeah. telling people to mask up they right now. They're, they're gonna trying, try, but to no one's gonna follow this time. I will be very. No, no, no. People go, girl. These people walking around still, with masks right now. Still got masks around here. <laughs> around here, we see people with masks. There's an old guy that's. Creepy old guy standing, be standing outside <laughs> our building. He live. I don't know if he lives next door or what. But this guy always has a mask on. Always. The Never seen day. him without a mask. Crazy. Yeah, these, these people creepy. be driving around with masks in their car. They're in the house with masks. You're walking outside with masks. It doesn't make sense. That's crazy. Right, I'm not, I, I yeah, I ain't no up. more masks. I didn't. Well, I would rather not go into your place if I got a mask up. Like, I'm yeah. Yeah, like I will not go to your business. Yeah, like I just won't participate. I'm not putting the mask on. And like I, mean, I am so like it's not happening. It You're does, not doesn't real. make sense. Yeah. COVID, COVID never made sense because COVID happened when I was in college, and I remember them telling us they all the information we was getting was just what they tell us one thing and then they just renege and be like, oh no, that that didn't happen. Like they said, oh it's it's a you know just be safe it's a relatively weak virus um it shouldn't it shouldn't be that bad and it dies in 80 degree heat but our bodies function at 93 degrees mm -hmm. oh it, it it's transmitted through air but it oh 98 well 98 but it but it it, it transports through air so we got a social distance but it can also sit <laughs> on a surface for 24 hours and you can catch it that way look I I knew it was BS when at my job when I worked at the grocery store they got looted. They used to have me standing outside counting the number of people that came in and you know to make sure that it wasn't too many people. But they wasn't even taking the numbers seriously. That they had us making numbers up. I'm like, this is stupid as hell. Like, why do you? Why are we even wearing masks then? If this don't matter. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. Stupid. I'm not doing this no more. Yeah. Any, <laughs> yeah, anybody, anybody that's remotely healthy and understands that when you get sick, the best thing to do is sweat the cold out, whether that be. You you uh you dehumidify or something. You put stuff in your head. Drink tea. Try to get that mucus out. Or you work out. I work out. So whenever I get sick, I go to the gym and sweat yeah. out. Why would I do COVID and lay in the bed? Yeah, I'm gonna die if that's yeah. the case. I will literally yeah. die if I let that virus beat my body up and just yeah. go through emotions. The they want you to die. And yeah. I heard that when they was they were, I knew it was a scam officially when they started uh paying people paying the hospitals to say that they have more COVID patients than they actually did. Once they started incentive remember I said when they started incentivizing it, they want more of it. They want they're lying to people. They're lying. They inflated the numbers. Yeah, they definitely inflated the numbers. I remember I used to work at a hospital in New York when COVID was a thing. So that was like a whole situation. And they used to have us mask up all day. And me and my supervisor used to get into it all the time because they wanted us to wear like these glasses, like these the plastic glasses. Yeah, because COVID could jump and somehow go in my eye. And and like and I used to talk I'm not putting it on like it was I'm not doing it because that is ridiculous it's like I hate so the mask you're not gonna get me to walk around looking I'm like in some scientific lab like it's just not happening right. 
Make you, it you're trying to tell me you're trying to tell me that because this virus is so it's so weak, but it's so strong when it attacks us that I can't you you putting boards over the basketball hoops. Yeah, yeah. Like, right. we can't, we can't they they literally just tried to see how far they could take. Oh, and right. it, it just got so idiotic. Okay, so you can go to the restaurant, but you can eat, but you got to take a mask off, but you can have your mask up. And but it, like what? Like y'all making no sense? Yeah, What's yeah. Say, then it's proven that the mask actually don't help it don't at all. Help. Don't you still gotta wear it. it oh, you gotta get the right type of mask. You gotta get the N95. The N95 <laughs> is the mask they said don't work. Yeah, it don't. It don't do nothing. COVID had like a ninety eight. Walking around looking away. like. Look, got the little the biohazard mask. That's the only one you're gonna need for COVID at this point. Right, and they normalize people walking around with masks and ski masks on and stuff like that. Right, so. and, and then what people didn't even pay attention to because this is gonna be a police state. The phones then got better at facial recognition with the mask on. That is crazy. Yeah, you can. <laughs> they, they can. They can literally identify your face with the mask on. It, all it did was it it it, it um. It emphasized the the, the uh, what's it called? Emphasized like the complexity of the facial recognition because yeah. now they can use half your face and essentially just get your eyes at this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I turned off the facial recognition on my iPhone. I still put in the numbers because I'm just like, nah, that was just too much for me. I was like, I just don't like the idea of putting my face there and then like the phone recognizes me. I mean, yeah, I know I'm being surveilled regardless. Like, I just yeah, I felt yeah. weird about the uh, about the thumb scan. They, they, got, they got everybody DNA. Every time they make a new phone, they get more and more of your DNA. They gonna have your feet and shit. Done. It's, it's gonna get crazy. <laughs> and then you think about like the fact that people don't use cash anymore. Yeah. Like that's not good. Like that is not good. And that's another thing COVID, COVID uh, came with. Oh, oh, contactless payment. Like right. they, just, they thought shortage. they were slick. They thought they were slick. Coin short is that. What do you mean there's a coin short? Where did they go? <laughs> right. It doesn't make sense. That's a good question. Where do they evaluate? Where did they like, go? That they means go? they was they was probably destroying the money. They they get it up. Them coin stars when you deposit your money and get a little ticket back and go get cash. They destroy them coins. They destroy because they they can't just start making dollars disappear. They got to start small first. Less pennies, less nickels, less dimes, less quarters. Now all of a sudden, it's only dollars. Yeah, it's only dollars. Yeah. Yep. People are here trying to live in China for whatever reason they want to try to make America China. Right? And don't want. Don't, won't take their ass to China. Won't take it. Just, just go. Go to, go to a third world country. Just go. They want people over there. They need people to recruit to their wars that never end. If you hate America so much, <laughs> and leave, and bro. Be so mad that they stole you from Africa because the white man just so powerful. He just came and stole you from Africa. You can leave. You could just go back to Africa. Just go. They're not stopping you. You literally are American. You can go anywhere in the world. Fact. But you. You want to stay here and destroy this country. And complain, yeah. You know, oh, climate change is a whole Climate change is better than BS that, that they've perpetually been talking about since I was a child. Like, I remember I remember being in, like, first grade, and my teacher was telling us, oh, yeah, y'all should recycle. And my mom was like, no, we need to worry about recycling. And I just was like, I, I felt like it was such a bad thing. And I was like, mom, like, you have to say You have to, yeah. Die. Like, he told me that we were going to die. They're going to kill all these fish and all these bears and stuff because you won't recycle this plate. Yeah. Like, like what are you uh, talking about? Or, or then they, you know, recycling is different from just littering. Don't litter. But, like, don't litter. But the whole extra recycling is like, ridiculous. why don't you just, you could create a job. You pay somebody to go through and get the stuff out. That's a job right there. True. People get paid for that. True. Why you want me to do it? Yeah, so for them to go as far yeah, as to say that warming. you killing, you killing all the animals and all the other yeah, stuff. It's like, are you serious? Like, yeah, y'all think the sea well, levels are rising? Right, all the stuff that really man can never control. Like, y'all think y'all have control over things? Yeah, y'all have control over nothing. Yeah. Y'all have control yeah. over nothing. Yeah. It's yeah. like whenever it's a natural disaster, they want to start talking about climate change. Like, y'all cannot control God. These are acts called acts yeah. of God for a reason. They ain't got nothing. It's to crazy decide. because. If it gets too cold, it's climate change. If it gets too hot, it's climate change. <laughs> so you yep. mean to tell me that climate is changing like it always does? Right, like when it's spring, summer, fall. Ain't that what it does? <laughs> it's what happens to seasons. Y'all didn't learn that? I feel like people not learning this stuff. People not learning yeah. basic things anymore. So they're confused. Yeah, the crazy part is like all of these climate activists, they get on their private jets. To fly to these countries to talk about climate change, but I gotta get an electric car. Are you are you dumb? Oh, and them and uh, the electric car stuff. They want us to um. Did you see that by like twenty thirty or something? All cars gotta have a kill switch. 
No, I didn't see that. Oh, yeah, that? yeah. That it's, Joe Biden is making that mandatory. And he also banned gas stoves. These people. No, he tried. Oh, he, he didn't ban them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. It's, it's, oh my gosh. Because we got one. They ain't coming. Because <laughs> how do you? They know? try, but the fact that they even—that's the effort, and what they trying to do with these cars. This is like. Yeah. Um, so I noticed what they what it's like. It's the same thing as how they go to the kids. They they can't they can't enforce it on you right now. They'll just set up something so where it's stopping the production of it, and you can just go mm -hmm. from there. Mm -hmm. It's basically mm -hmm. opening Pandora's back box, and you just. At that point, when you realize, oh, we fuck, it's too late. It's too late. They they passed this shit twenty years ago. Yeah. You said, how come it doesn't snow as much anymore? You yeah, got that, that right question. Now. It snowed a lot out here. Yeah. We got gotta take that on the ground right now. <laughs> it's slushy snow too. It's I mean, nasty. every year it's not gonna be the same. Right. It ain't gonna be the same. So. But it's snowing enough. Shit, I hate the snow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we over it. Did you see that movie? Um, Leave the World Behind. I did see that movie. That movie was very scary. Yeah, I, I was me. Yeah, I was spooked. Yeah, I was, that freaked me out. <laughs> like, yeah. we thought it was going to be like a good, like, a, a, you know, nah. funny movie, kind of laugh at. We was, we was drinking and stuff. And I was like, at the end of the movie, I was literally scared. I was like, oh. Yeah, that movie. <laughs> they better get us. Start, like, buying food <laughs> and storing it up. Like, because I'm like, yeah, that was too realistic. I usually, yeah. I usually hold um, movies like that at such a high standard, but just the, the execution of it. It just, it really felt real because it's, it, it is going to start from inside. It's not going to be we're invaded because there you're going to see people marching and then it's just, they're, it's going to be some internal shit. It's going to be, they're going to disable all communication. We're going to be in this bitch confused as hell. And all you, once you turn off communication, all the power, people are not just going to turn on themselves. Mm -hmm. They're going to turn on each other. Mm -hmm. That's, mm -hmm. that's it right there. So once they do that, they just going to come in and sweep up at that point. And then what, what resonated with me the most was the fact that they the only reason why they didn't get caught up in the grand scheme of things is because they wasn't in a big city. Yeah. Yeah. I see that's how scary. they blocked off the um the cars. I mean blocked off the roads with all them Teslas. I don't think that I don't think that'd be so literal. Mm -hmm. But the fact that they really the cities will be ground zero. I, yeah. I truly believe yeah. that. I truly yeah. believe yeah. nine eleven didn't happen in didn't you know in in fucking Alaska or something, it happened in the big city. Like that, mm -hmm. they are targeting the big cities because that's where you can get the most casualties. Yeah, yeah. Even when, like cities have like blackouts, people start looting, people start acting crazy. So imagine if all the power goes out, all the internet goes oh, out, yeah. it's gonna be like mayhem in like two seconds. Yeah, like, it's gonna, it will be insane. It will literally be insane. It will be pure anarchy. Yeah. And the, and knowing that Obama and them was like had something to do with that movie just made it even more real and creepy. It's like I think Obama is so evil. Yeah, they, I think they're right next to the Clintons. They're some yeah, yeah. There's it's a lot of demons going on. You know, I, sure. I um I, I saw this TikTok that said that um um it it basically was linking Obama to Satan, and it was um it was from the direct Hebrew translation. In the Bible, and it was um, when Jesus said, "I saw Satan like lightning from the sky or lightning mm -hmm. from heaven." The Hebrew mm -hmm. translation for that is like something, something Barack Obama, <laughs> and it's basically saying, "I saw Satan as Barack, Barack Obama." Obama. I mean, they and, demolished I saw, them. and and I'm not one to just take it and be like, "Oh my God, look at this!" I looked it up because you know Snapchat got the little AI thing, and you can ask them any questions. So I had mm -hmm. to translate what this. Verse First meant in Hebrew and what it meant in English back in English and it literally said I saw Satan as Barack Obama and I was like holy oh, <laughs> shit that is crazy but the Obamas are so evil I do yeah. not like them they I had they had casual like racism in their movie yeah. like even yeah. they had insert that anti-black shit the whole movie I mean the anti anti yeah. white because the whole movie the black girl just like being real hostile towards the white people I'm just like what the hell like, but, I, and it was from I couldn't no even imagine how I could have watched that all. movie before yeah like, I don't think yeah. I would have even like watched it honestly I feel like that movie was only like geared to people who were actually watching and get kind of spooked by it because I feel like a regular person couldn't even watch that and feel it. Do you like? Do you guys like Django? I like that movie. I thought it was a good movie. Django. Yeah, I thought Django was a good movie. I, yeah, I seen Django one time. Yeah, I think that's probably, probably gotta watch it now. Normal. Right. Because I, I remember watching it. Though. It was good. Jamie Foxx is a. Is a he did the thing. Actor. Yeah, he did he's a great actor. Did you yeah. see that? Uh, what happened to Tyrone? No. 
No, I haven't. I haven't. Met, I don't Dude, know. That, that half black people. They they. What happened to Tyrone? So it's 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 um it's a movie basically like apparently they what they cloning. Bro, I don't cloning. remember the plot of that. Right, it was like that movie was so stupid and right, long. I, I guess they cloning like, black people or whatever. The, the premise was like, yeah, I think they're just cloning niggas. And <laughs> the thing is, like, they had uh um. They had the 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 usual people you would see in the black community, got the drug dealer, the gangster, mm -hmm. the single mom. You know, they had those type of people, and it was supposed to be like you're stuck in the matrix because everybody's being cloned. You seen the same thing over and over again, but that wasn't even the premise for it. It was just like they put that in there to let you know that this is what y'all niggas is doing. It's not that you're a clone. It's that you. It's not that you're unique. It's that you're literally doing the same thing that everybody else is doing. Oh, I see the point there. Well, that's interesting. Right, and Jamie Foxx was in that movie, too. They tried to say that the reason why Jamie Foxx got something happened to him in light of that movie or something, because he was dropping too much wisdom or some shit. Oh, know. too much mom. Too much truth bombs, I guess. Yeah. Do y'all think that Joe Biden is actually gonna make it to November? I don't think so. <laughs> I hope. I look. I want him to do so bad. I, I I hope he make it. I, I don't want the man to die, but um, no. if if he does, they probably gonna usher uh Michelle Obama. In there. That's just bad. that's I we're think, gonna end. We're gonna end. I know for a fact these things are gonna vote for her. These things gonna lose their damn mind. If Michelle Obama, that's gonna be so entertaining. Honestly, I'm gonna just sit back and watch. Yo, do you, do you think Michelle way. Obama is trans? <laughs> I've been seeing the videos. I don't know because of at this point, I don't know. Apparently, there's no pictures of her pregnant. So I'm like, that's sus. That's sus. crazy. You got two kids. That's really sus. And then and I, 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 like I seen the video of her man. dancing or whatever. Yeah, I, was like, I, see <laughs> I saw that. I was like, can't, can't I can't deny it. I see it. So man, I don't you know. It's getting scary. It's yeah. getting scary. You really can't tell. And people will lie to your face. Nah. No, no, Michelle oh, Obama is oh, definitely a woman. Yeah, She's bro, definitely bro. a woman. I call I'm him, call him Michael multiple times. <laughs> He called her Michael. Michael Shut up. Michael. Yeah, you, like, you don't just yeah. casually. He called call her Michael. Her. That's the name. It's not like you said Michelle. No, he said Michael. Like <laughs> who the hell is Michael? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no pictures of her pregnant, and low key, none of her daughters look like her. They all look like yeah, Obama. I was I was looking, they I'm don't like, look hey, like her. They don't look like them for <laughs> real. No, <laughs> not Michael. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> oh, so funny. Oh, but no, they really will run after because the um, comment is out. I'm surprised Instagram ain't this big here. Mike. That's why I'm like, y'all gonna get in trouble talking about Michelle Obama is trans. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just, it's only a matter of time. I mean, I've I've had three TikTok pages taken down. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I'm very used to censorship. But I really don't care. I'm gonna keep making accounts until I run out of patience. <laughs> He's now that if Michelle <laughs> runs, I'm gonna be so tight. I'm gonna be so. I'm gonna be so annoyed if Michelle yeah, runs. It's runs, gonna be a clown too. show. If they, you, bro, every, they're, they're, they're they're gonna put her out, bro. They're going to. It's obvious they're going to. Why wouldn't they? That's like the easiest thing for them to do. Joe yeah, Biden is when, like a. He might win. You don't think it's it'll be too late for the motherfucker to announce that she won? So no. apparently, this is what they're gonna do. Apparently, it's too late for the Democrats to have a primary. I think. So they're just going to have Biden have like a medical emergency. This is conspiracy theory all the way through. Okay. And that way they don't have any like actual viable candidates. So they get to choose who they want to replace him because <laughs> nobody's going to vote for Kamala. Like, they can choose if somebody has a Well, I, I, I don't know exactly how it's going to work, but all I know in my mind, right, this is what they're going to do. Joe Biden's going to have some medical emergency. Kamala Harris, she's going to step down because they already know that if they try to replace Biden with Kamala, it's, it's cap. Nobody's voting for Kamala. Yeah. So then they're going to be <laughs> able to, because I think the DNC can nominate someone. Like, they can kind of do it without, like, the normal primary. So, I don't, like, I wouldn't be surprised if they try something maybe, like, around the summertime where they try to replace Obama, um, Biden with somebody else because they're going to wait as soon as they can, as close to the election as possible. If they're gonna change it out, yeah, they're they gonna try to do some real slick, slick, slick mess. To just they're trying her so hard to make people like Nikki Haley. Haley, I don't understand why Bro, no one likes a her. woman does not even be the president. I'm saying this <laughs> as a woman. This bitch needs to sit down. Nikki like, Haley no needs to sit down. Her and they try to make her like so popular. She's like nobody likes her. She's so unpopular. 
they want her to be like so bad. Yeah. They want her to be that girl. Yeah. She really thinks she, she, she that girl. She not. It's not happening. Just sit down, man. Sorry. <laughs> not Mammy. happening. I'm sorry. But look, <laughs> I am gonna go ahead and get off here. Oh, I forgot to tell you, the girl who was gonna come, the pro choice girl. She, um, when the call ended, I saw she. DM me and tell me she fell asleep with her son. And I'm like, you were on Instagram. You could have clicked live. Like, you could have clicked in. I would have let you in. So, I don't know what happened with her, um, but maybe in the future, you, me, and her can get on here again, because I really appreciate your insight. I really appreciate this conversation. Yeah, this was fun. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of fun. Well, look, Wait. I mean, you think I'm just saying Wait, can you hear me? Am I the Oh. oh my god, he did not the ring like hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> the light off. <laughs> oh. oh there you go. <laughs> but yeah, if she ever wanna come talk, you know, I'm always down for a good conversation. I love a conversation. It's totally fine with me. For sure. All right. For sure, for sure. Well, thank you so much. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good one. <laughs>